Welcome back to my channel, Man Man here again for Final Fantasy XIV Gaming Vlog number 7 and uh, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next Final Fantasy XIV Gaming Vlog Thank you very much and enjoy So right now what we are going to do is to follow the Botanist Guild Yes, follow the Botanist Guild Alright so we are here right now at the botanist receptionist so we just need to do this all right hello there and welcome to the botanist guild what brings you here today interested in becoming a botanist are you then you've come to the right place. At our guild, you can study under some of the benefits or some of the finest bot botanists in all the realm. An enticing proposition, is it not? So what say you? Would you like to add your name to our role? Right, yes. Excellent. Now, you're doubtless eager to dive headlong into the nearest shrubbery. But first, a brief explanation on the origins of the botanists' guild. Our guild boasts a long history. Its root can be traced back some 500 years to when our nation was still in its infancy. It was around that time that a precursor organization to our own was established to facilitate communion with the elements. Uh, but I suspect you're already confused not being forced born. Let me put it in a way that your kind would understand. The Twelve's Wood doesn't belong to a man but almighty beings known as elementals. It is by their leave and that we Gridanians dwell here in the forest and it is by their leave that we receive of its bounty. Ever since mankind settled in the Twelve's Wood, it has been necessary for us to obtain the elementals' permission prior to take aught from their domain. Historically, this was a rather involved process in that only a precious few could actually commune with them. Specifically, those conjurers blessed with the ability to hear the elementals aptly known as hearers. In order to relay the elementals will to the botanist in a more timely manner, a new organization was formed with a hearer as its mouth and ears. This organization would eventually evolve to become the botanist's guild. To this day, the guild employs the services of a hearer who offers guidance to our members. Yet, this is no longer our organization's sole concern. We also seek to promulgate correct harvesting practices, that is, practices which honor the will of the elementals. And that, my friend, is a story of how our guild came to be. I trust you have a newfound appreciation for the work we do. Now, with all this talk of elementals and communing, mayhap you're wondering whether you're fit to join us. Well, you may cast such doubts aside. You don't need to have been raised as a good little frost forestborn girl to be a botanist, nor do you need to know the secret forestborn salute. I just you just need a healthy respect for nature and the will to learn. If you honestly believe you possess these things, it would be my pleasure to recommend you to our guildmaster. Please wait a moment while I see to the formalities. Speak to me again when you are ready to begin the enrollment procedures. Ready to enroll in the Botanist Guild? Could I check it? The unwishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Botanist Guild. Music to my ears, it will be my pleasure to refer you to Guildmaster Fufucha. Our Guildmaster's knowledge of nature is second to none. One need only witness her uncanny knack for spotting the finest timber to see that hers is a truly God's given talent. It is for this reason that she holds the title of first botanist. Oh, but you need not be overawed, for she is the kindliest of all souls. You will find the Guildmaster just outside this building. Seek her out and impress upon her your desire to become a botanist. Request accepted. Okay, let's go out. And he said that the guildmaster is just outside this building. Fufucha. 
I'm Fufucha, the master of this guild. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. I take it Leon Cole has given you an overview of botany already? Well then, I suppose I had better continue where he left off. All Redonians may rightly claim to share a close relationship with nature, but none is so intimate as that of the botanist. It is our calling to nurture the natural environment to the mutual benefit of man and wood. But even as nature holds us in her loving embrace, provide for our every need, she is at heart an unsentimental creature, one that will take life just as readily as she gives it. Being a botanist means coming face to face with these uncomfortable truths on a regular basis. Knowing this, do you still wish to walk our path? Of course. The look in your eye bespeaks the passion in your heart. Very well, I bid you welcome to the Botanist Guild. To help you on your way, present you with this hatchet. Take it up and then present yourself to me again. I would assign you your first task as a Botanist of the Guild. So we need to use the hatchet that she given us. Save it. Fucha wishes to uh, assign you your first task as a botanist. I see you have your hatchet on you. Very good. A botanist hatchet is his livelihood. Never forget this. If you fail to keep its blade clean and keen, your efforts will yield your not but sweat and splinters but let us see about your first task yes to help you grasp the basics of botany i would like you to gather 10 pots worth of latex the forest yields to us many and more resources it is the botanist's job to know what can be found and where if it is late as you require you would do well to search just outside the blue badger gate or the yellow serpent gate Seek out the mature trees that stand in those areas and then put your hatchet to use. I wish you well. Botanists can use hatchets and other cutting tools to log the forests of Erzia and gather materials used in crafting. Trees that are prime for logging are known as mature trees. So locate mature trees, make your way out of the city and then use the botanist action known as triangulate. So we need to go out, go out the city, where are we going to do, yellow serpent gate, okay, we just need to go out there and look for a latex, triangulate, right, Yellow Serpent Gate. So, where are the latex? Survey the landscape to locate mature trees and lush vegetation. Is that it? 
Finding mature trees, botanists can use hatchets and other cutting tools to log the forests of Eorzea and gather materials for use in crafting. Trees and uh, that are prime for logging are known as mature trees. Mature trees are only discernible from other foliage when using the action triangulate. While this action is active, the location of mature trees is displayed on the minimum. Oh, there are. They, there they are. Once you have arrived at the mature tree, right click in it to begin logging. Okay, you can actually distinguish. A mature tree from the other trees if that tree is shiny shimmering right click on it and gathering as many as eight different types of items can be found on a single gathering point begin gathering by selecting an item from the list that appears after right clicking the target So I'm looking for a latex. I'm going to click for that one. Alright, level 2. Gathering interface. A list of items available through gathering can be viewed by opening the gathering log. This feature is accessible via logs in the main menu. So 10. Ten latex. There's actually a life or a durability for each mature tree. So it seems that we need to go to another one, but guess that one is already harvested. That tree. Or we already harvested all of that in that tree. Play checks. Maple log is hang on. Elm. Elm. Elm lumber. So we need to gather elm lumber. And elm lumber. Right. Five more. actually need to level up to five so that we can get the so we can get the next quest for the botanist guild On level three now, so we just need two more levels before we can return back to the guild master. Let's try to use this quick gathering. Enable quick gathering. All right, that's what this going is actually doing. It's actually automatic if you're going to click the quick gathering. Sprint! Alright, run, 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 run! Level 4, one more level. Action Field Mastery, what is that? 
Survey the landscape to locate the nearest mature tree or lush vegetation within skill range. Can only execute while triangulate is active. And this one, field mastery. Increase the chance of obtain, obtaining items while gathering by 5%. Does not apply to items at 0%. So we can actually use this one arbor call if the triangulate is active. So let's just go one of the near. Let's go near. Let's just do this one. We just let's just do this near of the one of the mature tree near one tree here two arbor call. Gathering rate up. just going to gather some earth shard instead of this late text earth shard this one level 5 increase the chance of obtaining items while gathering by 15% does not apply to items at 0% survey the landscape to locate the highest level mature tree or large vegetation within the scale range can only execute while triangulate is active let's try that one where's the triangulate this one there let's go there it's shining Where is it? There. Ash branch, ash log. So if you're going to do this, it's going to increase 15%. Oh, you see. So we're going to gather this one. So I think uh, we need to reach level 15 so that we can gather the elm log. So for our elm bow. So right now we are only level 6 here, so it's a long way to reach level 15. Let's just gather.
284 experience. Let's try to eat some foods so that our experience will increase just for a little bit as for 3%. Where's the food here? Okay, we have three kinds of food skill speed, critical hit, no, direct hit rate, no, determination of vitality. Let's use this one because it's a six piece. This it's not stuck above four different types of food. So we actually need to gather the highest level for each mature tree so that we can get the most experience that we can have for this one. Five thirty six. We cannot actually have any experience if we didn't obtain anything. So, to save some time, it's actually good if we go going to gather the 100% gathering rate for each much for a tree here. Like this one or this one. What's our chart will do? Don't have any gathering points now. What's this one? Sixty one. Four sixty three. Four sixty five. Nothing. The moon let the stars down from the sky. Do this. Right, level eight. What's this? Sneak. Tread quietly, enabling, enabling you to avoid enemies up to four levels above your own. Oh, let me see. Right, no duration. Sneak. The disciple of the land, action sneak, allows you to conceal yourself from enemies so that you may log, mine, or wish without fear of being attacked. Be mindful, however, that this ability is not effective against enemies with a level significantly higher than your own. Okay, just two more. Just need two more.
percent of Why won't we try at the at the bench branch meadows? Let's try this. If we can gather an item higher than our we can gather an item higher than our levels. I really need uh, the elm log. Thirty elm log. Level five. Level five. Need to look for a higher level of mature tree. Maybe fifteen, level fifteen mature tree if we can actually locate that one. Even though we are only level 9 for our botanist job here. Let's go down. Over down here. Let's try that area. Not a single mature tree. So it means that we cannot actually see any mature tree higher or more, or the level gap is more significant than ours. Let's go back to the botanist guild then. We are level 9, so after we pass or submit the quest we're going to be on the level 10 and then there's another quest for level 5 we're going to finish that one and another for the level 10 
and I assume that we are already level 15 during that time. How goes the gathering effort? Lest you forget, Aedes can be had can be had just outside the Blue Badger Gate and Yellow Serpent Gate. Ah uh, yes, precisely see 10 pots of latex just as I instructed, so you have done well. Latex is easy to find and equally easy to harvest, such, as such, collecting the stuff is an ideal task of young botanists who are learning their way around the hatchet. Yet, know that being able to swing said tool does not make you a botanist, you must also possess the knowledge to locate the resources you seek. That will be all from me for the present. I urge you to keep honing your senses and skills as a botanist, gather near and far, and learn from your experiences. I look forward to seeing you again when you have become better acquainted with our trade. Till then, I bid you happy gathering. The next botanist quest will be available from Fufucha upon reaching level 5 and to level 9. Oh, we have this one. Gathering plus 13. Okay. Quest complete. See, I'm level 10. Harvesting. In addition to logging, botanists can use secondary tools to harvest items from patches of foliage referred to a lush vegetation. As is the case with mature trees, these locations are only discernible when using action triangulate. To harvest, the, you must first equip a scythe to your offhand. Scythe can be obtained from shops, markets, or quests. Hello again, Wendy. I'm told you've been putting your hatchet to good use. Well done. Yet, as I mentioned before, hacking away at trees does not make you a botanist. You must also strive to deepen your understanding of nature. I say this in the knowledge that you have done just that. Whether you realize it or not, you have the air of a woman who is at ease with the world around her. I do believe you are ready for your next task. I would like you to go to the tree speak and there harvest 50 pots worth of maple sap. Once you have enough, pray deliver the sap of Sisley to Sisley. She will be pleased to receive it. Off you go now, Wendy. Size sap. Trees speak.
because if anyone is watching right now and once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified for every video that I'll be uploading about this Final Fantasy 14 game here Need to go to tree speak. Maple sap, this one. It's only level 2. Recorded in the gathering log B. seven minutes left here for our food and this is the mole food okay. 
need 20 more maple sap so this just this is going to be quick now so just bear with me okay Whisperer. Is that an achievement? Tree Whisperer. Where can you see again the achievements? Okay, whatever. Let's just proceed with the quest. is done so let's go back now let's teleport back to Gridania Precisely. On a quest for maple sap, then your best bet is to search in the vicinity of Trees Peak. I happen to be waiting for a delivery of sap myself. Might you be the botanist tasked with supplying it? Ah, oh, the maple sap I requested. Then you must be the new botanist Fuchi has been fussing over. Uh, but where are my manners? Thank you. Hmm, why do I need so much of the stuff? Well, allow me to explain. It's the very least I can do after all you've done. Boiling maple sap causes it to thicken into a sweet syrup called, uh, you've guessed it up, maple syrup. From maple syrup, we can make maple sugar, an ingredient used in various recipes, particularly confectionery, from cakes and tarts to toffees and chocolates, in short, all the things that children love. 
You probably guessed it by now, but the maple sap you harvested will be used to make sweets for the children, those poor souls who are orphaned by the calamity. They may put on a brave face, but their face reveals the depths of their sorrow. There is precious little joy left in their lives. But Rudania hasn't won't abandon them. No matter your walk of life, there is always something you can do to help. Though it may only last a fleeting moment, a single smile of theirs is worth of all the effort. My apologies, I got carried away. Now, where was I? Uh, yes. In addition to maple sap, we bought in this guy the various other kinds of wood stuff, such as... We work quite closely with culinarians, those disciples of hand who excel at cooking. We're also on good terms with good woodworkers and weavers, as both are reliant upon us to supply the lumber and fiber they need for their respective crafts. As botanists, it behooves us to learn what matter of materials are used in crafting, and there's no better way to do so on than first hand. If you have an interest, you might consider dabbling in one of our of the disciples out there. I also urge you to make a habit of reviewing the gathering log as your knowledge of botany grows. More of its contents will become comprehensible to you. Well, I'd best see to the maple sap. It was lovely talking to you. For every fifth level you reach as botanist, you will gain the ability to detect higher level mature trees and lush vegetation when this occurs any new items that are available through gathering will be added to your gathering log and you can use arbor call buttons action to help you locate the nearest mature tree or lush vegetation within your skill range So we need again to talk to the guildmaster. This is for the level 10 quest. Fufucha needs your help to fulfill a large order. Perception, perception 20. This one. Right here. Wendy, you couldn't have come at a more opportune time. I have a favor to ask you. We have just received an urgent request from the Order of the Twin Adder. They ask that we supply them with 99 crow feathers as soon as possible. Crows often leave behind feathers where they perch, which can be used to make arms and armor. The situation must be grim indeed if the Order has need of such a large amount. It would not do to keep the defenders of our nation waiting. It would be most glad if you could help us fulfill this order. Crow feathers can be found in abundance in the area south of Gilbert Spire. Once you have procured 99, promptly deliver them to Sisley. I've given her charge over our stores. My thanks in advance. South of... South of Gilbert Spire. Gilbert Spire.
Alright, 40 more.
Okay, we are now down to the last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. So that would be it. Let's just return to the Botanist Guild. Finally. You're helping us out again? My thanks, friend. In case you've forgotten, the crow feathers can be found in the area of the South Gilbert Spire. Ah, uh, the crow feathers. You have my thanks. Doubtless you already know this from Fufutra, but it's the order of the Twin Adder that requested the feathers. If I heard it true, they are in the midst of preparing a war against the Ixal. The crow feathers are needed to make arms and armor, feathered harpoons, plum dew crooks, and the like. It's a fine feeling being able to do our part to aid those men and women who defend our nation. But to need the feathers in such large quantities, it gives me pause to imagine the bloodshed that lies ahead. Will the Twelves would ever know true peace? Oh, but there I go again with my wistful ramblings. Feel free to ignore me. Now, before I forget, Pufutra asked me to give you something on her behalf, a scythe. The scythe is what we call a secondary tool used in your offhand. It allows you to harvest from lush vegetation in addition to the mature trees you already know as well. That Fufucha has seen fit to make you these gifts is proof positive of your progress. You're no longer a novice, my friend. I dare say you're ready to try your hand at the field craft levels, field craft leaves, perhaps even take on grand company work. But first, I recommend you head into the wood and find some lush vegetation to try with the new skies on. Off you go now and come back when you're ready to take on another task for the guild. Perception should be 20. This one. Right. Just complete. Okay. Alright, so we already have an offhand here and everything is good. So we just need to save this one. Need to delete this one first. Delete this. Alright, and show headgear. So we actually look like a farmer right now. Right. Then for the level 15 quest. A 
much is our perception right now? Perception is 55. <coughs> boots. What is this boots? Fucha is in trouble and needs your help to solve a problem. Uh, my dear Wendy, you're looking more a uh, botanist. I do believe you are ready to take on further responsibilities for the guild. Guilds such as ours exist only by virtue of the cooperation of their members. Each individual must set, on, must set an example for the rest if the collective is to thrive. The time has come for you to set just as an, such an example. A matter has arisen, the handling of which I would entrust wholly to you. You may deal with it as you see fit, providing you see the problem solved. The matter in question concerns a valid client of ours, the merchant August. It would appear one of our number has done something to upset him. Pray seek out the merchant at the bonus stalls and inquire after the reason of his ire, uh, and choose your words well, lest you add fuel to the fire. Speak with Alp Gust at the Ebony Stalls. And where am I? There, let's go to the Ebony Stalls. To the Lead Workers Guild. Lead their Workers Guild. Fantasy Grand Blue. Fucha sent you, did she? Good, I'm not a man to mince words, so forgive me if I seem blunt. You know what marjoram is, but of course you do, you're a bleeding botanist. It is a very common ingredient in alchemy, isn't it? Very common. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you botanists supposed to be the expert in harvesting such stuff? Yes, you are. Strange. Then that's the expert who brought me my last batch of fresh marjoram. Doing so much harvest the poor plants as dismember them. Why the leaves were so torn up? I couldn't recognize what they were at first. Needless to say, they're next to useless. So thanks to your herb hacking colleague, I have no marjoram to make my concoctions, which is why I endured at your guild, only to be told you were out of supplies and here we are. Now, if ain't too much trouble, I would be obliged if you could bring me 10 sprigs of fresh marjoram. In fact, only marjoram of the finest quality will do, as opposed to fine bleeding puree your bush butchering colleague delivered. Truth be told, I don't much care about your hatchet, happy friend. What I do care about is not keeping my customers waiting for their medicine. In short, hurry. Oh, and for the love of gods, be gentle with the plants, will you? I shouldn't have to say it, but after the last block, I'm not taking any chances. A fresh marjoram HQ to Albagust. Explains that he requires high quality fresh marjoram in order to make his concoction. The herb is said to grow around Matron's list. Harvest 10 sprigs, matron's list. Where is that matron's list? Mm. 
here I made front sleeves. This is above vent branch. Alright, let's go there. this leaf turn increase the chance of obtaining HQ items while gathering by 10% does not increase chances of I for items which start at 0% 15% mature tree elm log yes there's the elm log here sing together this one This one. Uh, um, Traits, where can you see the traits? Actually need this elm log. Maybe thirty. Thirty elm log for this elm longbow. Ash branch and cotton yarn. Thirty for this elm lumber. Right. So I can have ten elm lumber for thirty elm log.
four more. Alright, that's it. Let's proceed with the quest.
Hey, what's going on? I'm lagging. Hey, what's happening there? Why is that there? I just need one more one more high quality margarine really a 48 margarine
10 11 Alright, let's go back We can actually now create our elm bow But first, we need to submit this quest first And then, let's go Carpent tree for the elbow. I need to send this to the Ebony stalls. Did you get the marjoram? The herb is said to grow around matrons, please. Though I hardly need to tell about it is this. Do hurry, I'm keeping dozens of customers waiting. Oh, the marjoram and such fine specimens. I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time, friend. Thank you, dear. I can get back to making echo drops. Do you know of echo drops? They are an alchemy concoction that restores voice to silence. Tips allowing the imbember to cast spell skin. Conjurers and Saumaturgers never leave home without a bottle of three. But I must say again, these are some of the finest specimens of marjoram I've seen and they're none, none the worse for the picking. It's clear you know your way around the plant. As for your colleague with a heavy hand, I'm certain your guild will deal with him appropriately. Thanks again, send my regards to Fucha. Go back to the guild either. Run. Oh, there you are. Thank you for the job well done. There's no need to report the details. I've already heard all I need to know. It is my belief that the botanist in question had not but personal gain in mind when he is hurriedly harvested murderer. In his haste to complete the task and claim its reward, the, he damaged the herbs and rendered them useless. Such greed brings shame on our guild and I will not tolerate it. The offender's name shall be struck from our role. As I thought you when you first came to us, a botanist nurtures the natural environment to the mutual benefit of man and wood. He who thinks only for his own benefit has no respect for nature and is unfit to call himself one of us. Of course, you hardly need reminding of this. Something tells me you shall never give me cause to worry. Let us speak of cheerier matters. Tell me, did gathering the marjoram pose you any trouble? If you ever find your work unduly 
Wanderers, you might consider outfitting yourself with better gear. Even something as seemingly insignificant as a new pair of boots can make a world of a difference. As you gain in knowledge and experience, you'll find yourself venturing farther afield in search of new bounty and your choice of equipment will become ever more critical. Go now, Wendy, and keep up your efforts. I look forward to seeing you continue to grow as botanist. Certain gear grants bonuses to your gathering perception and GP points or values. A higher gathering rating improves your chance of obtaining an item. Greater perception raises the probability of finding high quality items and additional GP increases your harvesting stamina. Outfitting yourself with an eye to your objectives will increase the efficiency of your gathering endeavors. Perception, gathering, craftsmanship, control, perception 12. Gathering, gathering 18, perception 12. This is this one. Complete. Quest complete! Can I accept the next job quest? Action learn the 12th bounty. Twelve's bounty increase elemental shard yields by two. Cannot be executed if the gathering node does not yield shards. I'm level 20. Let's go here. I heard Skype and Cotton Strapper. There! Okay, we need to save this. We need to delete this set. Okay. Keep set. No, what happened? Carpentry. Okay, that one. Carpentry. We need to delete this one. Okay, another one. Alright. Let's go to carpentry. Stop raining. First, we need to build first an elm lumber. So we need an elm lumber here. We need first elm lumber, 
create one first, right? We need, I need to create one first before quick synthesis. What just happened?
13, 13. I need two here. I need to buy 13 more of Ash Branch and 13 of Cotton Yarn. There's no cotton yarn here. Okay, there's no cotton yarn, so we actually need to look for it. We need to look for the cotton yarn, so we cannot actually complete the crafting for the elm's bow. Alright, so that would be it for now. Thank you very much for watching my Final Fantasy XIV gaming vlog number 7. Once again, Man Man here. And please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next one. Final Fantasy XIV gaming vlog. That will be number 8. And that part is we're going to look for the cotton yarn. Alright, and goodbye for now. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.